write a single line without a cosmology, a cosmogony, laid out before all eyes. There's no part of yourself you can separate out, saying, this is memory, this is sensation, this is the work I care about, this is how I make a living. It is whole, it is a whole, it always was whole. You don't make it so. There's nothing to integrate. You are a presence. You're an appendage of the work. The work stems from, hangs from the heaven you create. Every man carries a firmament inside, and the stars in it are not the stars in the sky. Without imagination, there is no memory. Without imagination, there is no sensation. Without imagination, there's no will, desire. History is a living weapon in your hand, and you have imagined it. It is thus that you find out for yourself. History is the dream of what can be. It is a relation between things and continuum of imagination. What you find out for yourself is what you select. Of an infinite sea of possibility, no one can inhabit the world. Yet it is not lonely. The ground of imagination is fearless. Discourse is a videotape of a movie, movie of a shadow play. Play. But the puppets are in your hand. Your counter is in a multi the weather magic organ, which is devination. It's dry the wars of subsumed. The only war the that matters is, is the war against the imagination. imagination. All other wars are subsumed in it. It is death to be sure, but the undead seek to inhabit someone else's world. The ultimate claustrophobia is syllogism. The ultimate claustrophobia is it all ends up. up. Nothing ends up and nothing stands in for it. Anything, Anything else. else. The only war that matters is the war against the imagination. The only war that matters is the war against the imagination. It all adds up. The only war that matters is the war against the imagination. All other wars are subsumed in it. The only war that matters. The only war that matters is the war against the imagination. It all adds up. The only war that matters is the war against the imagination. All the other wars that are matters is the war against the The only war that matters, the only war that matters the is the war, war against the war imagination. Against the only war that matters is the war against imagination. All other wars are subsumed in it. There's no way out of the spiritual battle. battle. There's no way you can avoid taking sides. There's no way you can not right. have a poetics. No matter what you do, plumber, baker, teacher, you do it in the consciousness of making or not making the sure. world. You have a poetics. You step into the world like a suit of ready made clothes. Or you etch in light. light. The firmament spills into the shape of your room, the shape of the poem, the sure. body, sure. loves. Love. A woman's Cyborg. life life is an allegory. Take it. Open your eyes. There is no way out of the spiritual battle. The war is the war against the imagination. You can't sign up as a conscientious objector. The war, war of the world hangs here right now on the balance. It is a war for this world to keep it. The veil is so making. Taste in our mouths is the taste of our power, uh, and it is bitter as death. death. Bring Earth. yourself home to yourself. Earth. Enter the garden. garden. The guy, the gate, the flaming, flaming sword, sword is your the war is the war for the human imagination. No one can fight it but you and no one can fight it. The imagination is not only holy, it is precise, it is not only fierce, it is practical. practical. You can die every day from lack. It is vast and elegant. It means life and it is not it is not discourse. When I don't understand, I simply admit it.